Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 16 of my Football Manager 2016 Let's Play with Ingolstadt. Some good news here, the wager budget has been increased and also the transfer revenue percentage has been increased to 90%. I did request for those and I'm pretty happy uh, that they both got accepted and the board are pretty happy with me so I guess they're willing to uh, even though our overall balance is in the red now 37k that's not it's the first time this season and you don't really get that too often when you're a team in a top division as well so yeah not so happy about that but I guess we don't have a lot of money coming in uh, that's a problem compared to other teams in the Bundesliga but this will be the first season we finish in the Bundesliga if that makes sense so we'll get the money for finishing in the Bundesliga and yeah, hopefully money for next season, everything like that, yeah, we'll be in a good position. <laughs> I'm hoping for that anyway. Uh, but the biggest reason was for the wage budget to be increased because I wanted to offer Pascal Gross a new contract and, you know, he does want a bit more than he's on. And if we offered him with like, we had like 3K remaining, he wanted, yeah, much more. He wanted like almost, what, a bit more than three times, around three times more. I, pr I probably would get him on his wages, so... Yeah, we've got that up to 28 and a half now. We should be able to, uh, yeah, get him on. And actually, just saying it before... See, that's the thing. That's something I'm noticing. Uh, he wanted like 20... It was 21. It was about 21K. And then I, yeah, continued the next few days or so, about a week. And now he only wants 20.5. So... Because teams were interested in him, and he, in him and he did want to leave, maybe he has some expectations to get quite a bit more on the wages. So I'm going to leave it for a couple of weeks and then see, I'll try and offer him a contract again or just go on it and see how much he's requesting. And yeah, I think I'll leave it uh, for now because I have a feeling what he'll want will drop slightly as it yeah did already in just like a week or so. But we're going to go back and we're going to get into this game. <laughs> there we go. There's the match preview it's a quarter-final game. We've made it to the quarter-final in the Cup. That's a big thing as well. We're still in it. Even though there's teams... Well, Leverkusen got knocked out on penalties by Hertha. And then Dortmund are still in. And uh, we're still in it. That's We're, we're within some big names uh, still in the competition. Well, we have to advance here against Hoffenheim. Obviously, yeah, Bayern Munich will always be expecting to make the final. They just got quality and make the final and win it as well. But just being honest, now I think especially with Leverkusen knocked out, I think strong chance for Dortmund. I think Dortmund are going for the cup. Honestly, they aren't doing too well in the league. Well, they didn't start too well, so that affected them. They're yeah, pushing into the Champions League positions now, finally, this season. But yeah, uh, we'll go into the game. Uh, we'll go to tactics, just show you them for now. Uh, show you Matthew Leckie, still injured. He'll be back in between four and five weeks. Uh, Roger is suspended. That's that where it hurts with Roger. Even though I may have rested him for this game, not sure. But 94% condition with superb morale. I probably would have played him if I'm honest. But Alfredo Morales, in recent games, he hasn't been bad. He hasn't been a terrible player. Roger's just been really important for us, without a doubt. Uh, last few games, he's only come on. So, yeah, maybe disregard those ratings because he's been coming off the bench. So, yeah, it's really hard to judge those games before when he started. Look, yeah, two eight ratings, like 8.2 and 8.6. <laughs> that's pretty decent you can't really complain about that so i'm just thinking anyone any other changes um also i brought morgan amel Fitano into the wing on the right side jose carlos dropped out last few games hasn't been too good the last couple games actually he did score he's been scoring some goals here and there but uh, amel Fitano, i think he's overall better play both him and ramirez i'm still yeah trying to figure out uh who's going to be who's a more better player to start but Amal Fatano, I do like his crossing. And as a winger, that, that crossing and dribbling, yeah, pretty decent. And technique, I think he can create something for us. So, yeah, we're going to the game now. We'll submit the team. And this is a big game to perform in. If we advance another round into the cup, make it to, like, the semifinals, how good would that be? Semifinal of the cup, first season. Uh, I would be pretty happy with that. You can see, I think we can exploit uh, their formation almost. I guess I would say then they're not playing with wingers, but that doesn't really affect them defensively because they're still playing at fullbacks, obviously. So it's not like there's no one out wide. But yeah, I feel as though they're not going to have a threat. It's more so their attacking side, not yeah in defense. They don't have any width, I would imagine. Just looking at the team again, opposition instructions, as always, uh, applied by the system manager. 
And also, if there's something you're wondering, I have like this thing next to me, and sometimes it's more behind me, like uh, down the other side. Just it's it's for like the sun that comes in and the light, and I just want it to be, uh, yeah, because sometimes light comes in and reflects like on my shirt and stuff, and yeah, it's pretty annoying. So depends what time of day and what kind of day it is, if it's how hot it is. Uh, yeah, how much sun is coming in, but try and just, yeah, not worry about that so much, and I usually wear black shirts as well a lot, so I'm not wearing the same shirt, like, every single day, if you're wondering, I just have heaps of those, but, yeah, just thought I should mention that, uh, I want you to pick up where you left off last time out, there we go, seem motivated, a few players there, might as well, uh, continue, uh, yeah, with the positional team talks as well, uh, for the players just to get some better reactions and Kachunga's already motivated so we won't mess with that as we head into the game so here early free kick opportunity Kihun Amalfitano what a change what an aspired change for this game he's scored six minutes in <laughs> that's pretty good I took Ho I did take Jose Carlos you don't really know yeah you won't know if I played Jose Carlos uh, would he have scored obviously it looked like a simple finish uh, but I guess, yeah, as I said, we'll never know. Kihoon, uh, he's pretty good with the set pieces. And Amalfitano, he just had to do the easy part, but he had to be aware to it as well. Kihoon, that's just technical ability. Amazing. And we've got the lead. It's almost too early to kind of take it in. We may have another. Oh, that was a pretty poor effort. I'm surprised, yeah, after scoring a goal, maybe he was just a bit too excited, Amalfitano. But, yeah, what an impact. But it was Kihoon. Kihoon created it. It wouldn't have been a goal without him, but now they've got a corner. And why is Schwegler by himself? Oh, that's that's lucky, but also it's really well done by Morales to block that and anticipate it. And we still have the lead. And we're kind of dominating this game. Look, 60% possession away from home. We've had the better of the chances. We've had a couple click out chances, uh, four in total. They've had three, well, four now, and none of them have been on target. So we're defending well. Any chances that they are having, yeah, we're defending them and forcing him into uh, poor shots, obviously. So later in the half now, just going to say assertively, and I'm going to say tighten up, just to make sure, once again, don't concede a late goal. And interesting, there's a highlight pretty much immediately as I said that. Hopefully, it could be for us. I'd like to think. <laughs> uh, gross. Finds Morales. Oh, no. Polanski. Polanski. Oh, no. Don't tell me I'm going to concede. It would be within a second. I'm pretty... It will be within a second of saying tighten up. That's a record. I was planning to say that if we were to concede on that highlight. That would be a record. Within a second of telling your players to mark tighter, they concede a goal. Well, there you go. <laughs> Obviously, I know it's not preventable from scoring or conceding like 100%, but it's annoying most definitely as soon as I wanted to be a bit more, uh, yeah, focused on defending. And that happens. Uh, we're going to go into... Uh, it's once again. It's just... It happens a lot of occasions, whether it be in the first half or towards the end of the game. You've got a good result and it just... You lose it like that. At least we have time still to win the game. But we'll go assertively... Yeah, if we get a goal, make us favourites to win this game. And I'll just leave it like that. So with the early chance in the half, oh, I'm still... Sh oh, I'm disappointed because we did have the better of that first half. Just that one chance uh, we have. Obviously, it wasn't just one shot they had, but yeah, other chances obviously weren't too key. Even though they've had two clear-cut chances, we both had two clear-cut chances. But they've only had the one on target. One on target, one goal. It's always frustrating to see that. Uh, Kachunga is not having the best of games, but you always got to keep faith in him. You know, he can step up and score at any time, any time. I'm still happy we're in this game away from home. Oh, Kihun has had a great game, but he's getting a bit more tired with his condition going down. Kachunga doesn't look like scoring, so this is where we'll bring on Pekka, change up that a little bit. Target man will go on attack. If, yeah, not support. We need to attack as much as he can. Maybe we hit some early crosses in and we'll float them into him because that's that's where he's a danger, really. He's a danger. And, yeah, I'm just thinking about yeah anything else. I'll just leave that for now. Ah, any other changes we should make? For the most part, our centre-backs haven't been having the good game, but I don't like changing centre-backs, really. I don't feel they're going to win you again. Unless you're winning... But still, you don't. If you're winning, generally your defenders should be doing well and you don't want to yeah, change that up. So, yeah, it's a very interesting uh, position to be in. Whether your centre-backs are playing well, like if they're playing well, you don't want to take them off. If they're playing badly, 
Like, who, there's a good chance you're losing <laughs> and you want to win. So you want to make an attacking change. But I guess Danny DaCosta, out of all of them, once again, he's the one to step up. Will be interesting to see if it goes into extra time. I think now is a good time for a team talk. We're going to say demand more. I want to see a bit more from the team here. I want to capitalize on a bit of the possession we've had. We've had the majority of the possession uh, for today. Okay, now's a chance. I don't want it to be, uh, again, within seconds of sa doing a team talk and concede. What is up with that? I'm going to quit from team talks. I'm not sure if it's just this specific game, but phew, that's twice. That is twice that has happened. And Nyland phew, maybe should have done a bit better, but that's really annoying. Our team talks, phew, should I do them anymore then? then? They don't prove to be too effective. See, I say nothing here, and will we score? Oh, we get a penalty. <laughs> we get a penalty. Peck up, please. Please don't miss this. Please. Peck up, you have to score. All your goals this season will mean nothing if you don't score now. And he finishes. That's a really tough penalty to save. If you watch on the replay, it hit the underside of the, the crossbar. Watch on the replay. Maybe it wasn't the best penalty, but it's always going to be a tough one to save like that. <laughs> Just absolutely difficult. Obviously, you don't want to be yeah, going too close. I got a bit scared when I saw it like that. But what an impact. Uh, he just came on. He just came on pretty much. I know it's from a penalty, but still, he had to finish. Uh, Thomas Pledel actually is going to come off. Bring on Luis Ramirez. Got to get him into the action. He's one of our better players now, so hopefully he can showcase that and maybe win this game for us. We'll like to see. Maybe. Oh, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Again, Gross and Morales in midfield having a good game. There's Julian Green. May Malangu is an interesting one, but a lot of other players don't have high conditions, so we're going to leave it for now. Don't need to be rushed into making the third sub. Luis Ramirez, deep in thought. Win it for it. Or win it for us, lag. Come on. pledle has been excellent, but just one of those games where he hasn't done anything too special. Oh, Kihoon again. Can he create? <laughs> They're going to counter. This would be a really poor time to concede. Oh, come on. Win this. Win the header. It's Strobel. Strobel. Oh, no. Oh, again, it's poor keeping. No, that's two opportunities. Karani, first goal of the season. Wow. This has been one of the rare games where our keeper, Nyland, has had a poor game. Oh, you got to do better. You've got to do better. Like, I, I generally, if you watch all my videos, I rarely would like blame the goalkeeper on that but and even now I don't want to I just want to yeah you can see what happens so it's it's annoying it's very annoying Kihoon's had a good game Malangu's gonna come off and no come on sorry yeah sorry I'm just uh, distracted with conceding that goal maybe Malangu maybe put him box to box Maybe can provide. I'm just, I'm just really disappointed with that. Honestly, we'll have to go attacking now, and we'll go a bit more higher tempo, a bit more direct passing, and shoot on sight. Try and get yeah those shots on when we can, and even what well, we do we go overload. We we'll go yeah because you can't really waste any chances here. Defensive line, you can get forward like with those fullbacks on attack as well. Just yeah, try and get forward and yeah go route one. Roam from positions. We got <laughs> we got to take more risks. We got to go for it all right now. And even the wingers go and attack, provide something. But again, I feel as though we will be knocked out of this game, uh, in the cup in this game. I just feel like, yeah, it's one of the... I've had these games before in Football Manager. I've obviously played Football Manager for years. And you have one of those games where a certain player makes an error. If it's a goalkeeper, yeah, whoever it is. And you just, you're not going to win that game. It's Sula. Obviously, there's always time to turn it around. Maybe... Malangu, he does well there. Provide something now. Morales, okay, this is good possession. Looks like to be a chance for us until we give it away. And now they're going to hit us on the break. Come on, that had to be a chance for us. What's a pass straight to the opposition? Fucking man. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. I thought that was a potential chance. A potential chance for an equalizer. And they had the opportunity. And now, yeah, clear that. But, yeah, very low chance of scoring. We'll just say assertively, push forward, get men forward as much as we can at this point. Okay, there's another highlight. We've got to look to intercept this. Volans. Oh, Morales, he did really well initially. Oh, two really good challenges. That's good. But then we just boot it. I know, but that's the instruction. <laughs> I can't complain. That's the instructions we have. Yeah, get the ball forward. But it's just frustrating to give the ball away when you win it back really well. Two challenges inside the box and not to give away a penalty. Karanyi. It's Strobel. Oh, Morales, he's going to... Yeah, he's going to give away another yellow card there, as expected. Because uh, we're going really... Uh, going in for it, just in every way in this game. And he got desperate. He got desperate. And Schmidt, I just don't expect them to score from this. But I wouldn't be surprised if they do. Strobel, Hubner, Kihun. <laughs> I'm totally not expecting to score. Sula... Hoffenheim actually have some decent players. I'm surprised they're doing bad. Like, they've got Shah, Sula. I think they've got two quality centre-backs. Sebastian Rudy's not terrible as well. But I have a feeling we're going to be knocked out here again in disappointing fashion. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be it. Just highlight. Yeah, less than 20 seconds remaining. At least we can focus on the league. Like, we went further in the cup than we were expected. So, I'm going to take that out of it. It's always disappointing to get knocked out of the cup. But you look at the team's remaining good chance we could have faced Dortmund or Bayern. We're going to get knocked out the next stage anyway. Assertively, we were just unlucky. I'd like to think we were the goalkeeper on another day in Ireland would have saved. Them. And again, see, it's the case. Ki Hoon had an amazing game. Amalfitano was pretty good. And then Gross, Morales. Morales got 7.4 and he still got a red card. He did well. Danny DaCosta had a solid game for the most part. We've had a lot of these games this season where we've lost, but still we've had quite a few players in the team had a good game. So we take a lot out of that. And again, I guess the positives from that, we get given 743k, so we should be out of the red overall now. And I'm not going to, yeah, I'm just going to issue a warning. Yeah, there's no point in doing more than that, finding them. What, like what, you don't get anything. You don't get anything out of that. Maybe saving a little bit of money, but... Whoa, look at that. Yeah, our balance uh, goes up to 1.3. So that's a bit more... Obviously, yeah, money would have come through other avenues. So guys, now we will be back in the league for this game against Augsburg. They're only two positions below us, but we're still six points away from them. So this game is still important to create that separation. Things could still go bad for the rest of the season. Imagine if we lose games in a row. That's always a possibility for a newly promoted team, even though it doesn't look likely. We lost three games in a row before, so that could happen again, potentially. I don't want that to happen, but it's like two sides of thing once again. There's other, I think Leverkusen drop points as well. They're only on 34. If we get this victory here, look, all these teams are played already on 22 uh, games played. If we get the three points, we'll be on 31. We can leapfrog Frankfurt. And then potentially just be a win away from six positions. So, yeah, I'm always keeping my eye. We're always... We haven't dropped off completely from a chance to finish in Europa League. It's still a stretch. But I saw someone say in the comments that if we go on an unbeaten run... Obviously, you need quite a few wins in there as well. Not just picking up draws. But go on an unbeaten run and just get out of this losing kind of mentality. And, yeah, start being unbeaten for a few games, maybe six or seven games, and maybe we can find ourselves in a good position. Uh, we just have to see. Uh, but yeah, you can see the league table there. But now we'll just go back into... Uh, where were we? Uh, we'll just yeah go there. Because uh, I notice when I have the face cam there, with the match preview, I know the league table is on the right side and you can't see it. So maybe I'll just show here when I yeah or show the league table, even though you know where we are around anyway. But we'll go to team selection. Uh, there we go. See the match <laughs> match preview. You can see the table there. You can see the top half of the table anyway. You see the points we need to attain. But our goal difference is not the greatest. But if we start winning games, obviously, that would gradually increase, as expected. Marvin Matip's come back for this game. Actually, I felt Benjamin Hubner, he's just been cruising along. He hasn't been terrible, but I feel, yeah, he's contributing to some goals conceded. And Marvin Matip 
he has not been terrible this season. He's been consistent. He's pretty quick centre back as well. So we have that quick guy to deal with maybe a quick striker or something. So that could be good. And then we've got Ron Vla, who's I think he's settling into the team now, Ron. Uh, he's going down in his work rate. He's getting a bit older, so maybe understandable. But I feel, I think he could have a good season next season. But again, that's depending on signings and everything. But yeah, then you have that pre-season with us, which I feel will be really important. That's always important for a January transfer, having a pre-season uh, with your new club. Just You'll be much better for the following season. But uh, not so many changes, but Luis Ramirez coming in right wing. He'll play that game. Thomas Plato again, attacking midfield. Thomas Peckard is actually going to be starting, and we're going to start on the support role for a target man. Even though when we played him on attack, he did really well, but it appears though he's better as a support role. So might as well... Um, give that a go. I don't think I've started with that in a game uh, with Peckart. So we're going to be expecting more from this game. I was a bit, a bit, that's a bit of an understatement. I'll say I was very disappointed with the way we lost uh, the last game, the way we got knocked out. But look, Bayern Munich, it's going to be so hard. Like, can you, do you want, like, what do you want the goal for this series to be? Obviously to win the league one day, one season, but <laughs> like, who's going to stop Bayern Munich? They haven't lost a game this season. That makes it so tough. Obviously, initial goal would be getting into Europe. But for now, oh, they've got some decent players. Look at their team, <laughs> S-Vine. Uh, maybe this was FIFA a few years back. Uh, FIFA 12, was it? FIFA 12, FIFA 13. Yeah, he was beastly pace. He's, he's the same. He's still got 19 pace. So he's still a danger, technically. He's got that pace. And then, well, they've got Tobias Werner. He is a bit of a quicker player. He's, he's decent. So their wide players are not too bad. Not too bad. His experience, he's 30 years old. So they've got uh, some decent players there. But we'll go to opposition instructions. Uh, they're applied. Interesting. And never marking on S Vine. He, Michael Henke, he knows what he's doing, <laughs> I'd like to think. So we'll say passionately. Now, I want to say, what's the la... We can't... Mm. Are we underdogs? We're underdogs for this game. I'm going to say calmly. I'm going to say calmly. Go out there and impress everyone. Just, like, in a calm tone. And then again, calm. I have faith in you. I think that's the best way to go. You see a lot of players looking happy, yeah, from that. And then hopefully Peckard as well. Okay, no reaction to that, but the majority of the team, only two players didn't get a green lighting up reaction. So uh, I know it's another away game, so a draw would be good enough. It would maybe be good, again, to continue and try and be unbeaten in the league. But I feel it's a good opportunity to get a victory. I'm not throwing away Europa League at the minute. It's still up there. It's up for grabs, even though a lot of teams will be fighting. Maybe five or six teams might be fighting for that position. I'm not giving up for it, though. I'm not giving up. And see, once again, it's really early in the game and Roger has picked up a yellow card. I just wish he uh, got that out of his game. But he's so good because he makes a lot of challenges at the same time. He might give away a yellow card, but then he makes so many challenges during the game. But here, first chance of the game, 30 minutes in, they're going to create it. Whew, how close was that? That was real close. Uh, for us going behind there. So I reckon time... To, <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do team talks because I'm going to just assertively concentrate. Please don't score right away now. Okay, good signs. Uh, chance wasn't created immediately. So that was good. We're going to go into half time. It looks like going in nil-nil. Not terrible way away from home, but yeah, we're going to have to uh, push on into the second half and uh, do a bit better, show a bit more. Both teams, they had one really good chance. And you probably should say they could have finished it. And assertively, maybe I'll say that underdogs won. Assertively. Yeah. Not the greatest reaction, but I'll say assertively. Yeah, you weren't that bad, but I have faith in you. I'll just do those for the rest of the players. So I'm thinking, we'll see what happens here with the early chance, but maybe I may have to put Pekka on attack. Opposed to the support, if we don't really create too much. I just wanted to experiment with that. There's no harm in that, especially with the season we're having. Oh, no, they've got a corner. Oh, deal with this. Nyland, it wasn't 100% convincing, but it was good enough. <laughs> it was good enough. But the chance is not over. Matip dealt with it. S-Vine. S-Vine. And they score. It's Ji Dong Wong. Oh, a bit disappointed to concede then. I thought, yeah, we defended that. I thought that was a chance, the corner chance for them, and... We conceded. We conceded. 
Uh, it's going to have to be a big a big comeback here. I know it's only one goal behind, but I mean just how we're playing. Yeah, just the goal. He rushed out a little. Uh, I didn't think he was in a terrible position. Uh, oh, but Gee, how about that? <laughs> he, he came on and he scored within five minutes. Got to give credit to the lad for that. But yeah, we'll make some changes now. Uh, we'll go... We'll go attacking. We're not going to waste any time. We're not going to wait till like 15 minutes left and yeah, go attacking, push forward, everything like that. Do it now when there's plenty of time remaining. Uh, peck up. Attack. Mixed crosses. Yeah, we'll do them floating for him. He early crosses into him. And go again. More direct and higher tempo. Come on, boys. <laughs> uh, we um, Pump the ball into the box as well. Uh yeah, we've got to do that. We've got to get balls forward into him. You use the target man. Might as well utilize his aerial ability. And we'll make those tactical changes. Even though he wasn't absolutely amazing, like, you have those players sometimes, but when you miss them, it's like, it affects your team. And I'm talking about Matthew Leckie here. His pace down the wing. I think it's affecting us in attack, what we're creating. Because even though he doesn't score... well. He scored, and he assisted some goals, but I mean, even when he doesn't do that, he still provides that attacking threat. Oh, Ji Dong Wong again, we're going to concede. Oh, We're lucky. We probably could have conceded a couple more today, or at least one more. Like, that opportunity there was really good. If we can equalize with this opportunity here, I would be pretty happy with that Pekka. Now, Ramirez, Pleto, we got to get our act together. Roger. Okay, Roger, be smart. Gross. Roger. Oh, could have been good. It might be still. Roger. Kihoon. Oh. oh. Oh, man. That could have been a goal. It was a good opportunity. Luis Ramirez isn't having a good game at all. 6.3 rating. We're going to drag him off. And I talk about the pace. I, I said I felt we'll act that. We'll bring on Jose Carlos. We'll bring him more preferred inside forward role. And we'll go on attack. Kihoon as well. He looks dangerous. Had that opportunity. But yeah, Jose Carlos. He has... Uh, not as much as Lecky, though. He doesn't have that killer pace. And that's why I feel we we don't actually have that. Looking at it, especially when, uh, especially out wide. Sure, Kachunga, Kachunga does have pace. But out wide, I feel we're lacking that pace because Kihoon's not pacey at all. So I feel we're sorely missing, we are missing Lecky. Even though he wasn't massive for us, he's still an important, he plays an important role for the team, I'd like to say. Kihoon, well, 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 I don't know. I think Pekka off Kachunga. He was smashing in goals. We need that back. And he still scored a few when he's come back from that injury. So, And then we'll just go back to mix the crosses because he's not as tall. And yeah, now we've got to shoot on site, take the opportunities and even go overload now, exploit the middle. We'll go down the middle more than uh, the flanks and we'll go narrow to suit with that and take more risks. Uh, yeah, when I change the roam from positions, maybe that's not always a good thing. Uh, like, obviously, it seems like, yeah, you're mixing it up a lot, but sometimes you have to keep to your structures, even if you're looking for a goal. So, I have faith in you. He, oh, Kachunga gaining confidence. A Kachunga with confidence is a dangerous Kachunga. S. Vine, he goes back, <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're going to score unless Kachunga, we could. Kachunga, Kachunga! Oh, I thought that went in. It almost looked like it went in. We cannot say we didn't have an opportunity to get something from this game. That was it, Kachunga. And that's not the Kachunga you've seen from us. And it, didn't it say he gained confidence? That didn't look like a finish from a player that gained confidence. Don't lie to me, game, please. <laughs> it said he gained confidence. A Kachunga with confidence, as I said when he came on, surely had to score when he had the opportunity. Apparently we were underdogs, though. But... That brings them closer to us. And we're still, I guess, or four points uh, from 13th and still the six from 14th. But to lose once again is a disappointment. So now to round up this episode, it's been a bit of a disappointing one. Two away games, guess maybe you can understand if we lose two of them, got knocked out of the cup, we lose against Augsburg. And almost getting to that time now in a season probably have to play through it a bit more still maybe a few more games the next couple episodes but when we know we're going to be mid-table we know we're not going to get a Europa League position or at least top six position and we know we're not going to get relegated 
that's when I'll play a bit more games off camera. But we're still not out of the relegation zone for sure. So, yeah, and if we go on a run of wins, still could vie for fifth or sixth. But, yeah, as we maybe get into something like March or April, maybe we could understand that. Maybe more so the last few episodes, uh, maybe last couple maybe last six or so games of the season, maybe last month of games of the season. We'll just have to see how it pans out. Because if you actually go to fixtures, there's not so many games left in the season. It's how much more episodes that going to be. That's going to be two uh, two games. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, it's about six episodes or so if I continue this way. So it won't be too many episodes uh, to finish off this season. And I would imagine you guys would want to be um, be seeing another season. Um, even though this series isn't like so popular, but I feel in recent times because of doing face cam now, I don't think it matters what team I do. Like people say, be big team to get more views and subscribers. Uh, but there's other people who do football manager videos, like their team they are, it's not a big team or anything, and the videos are popular. So it's more about, yeah, being entertaining in the videos and, yeah, providing the face cam and everything like that. And gradually, yeah, I'm sure you guys uh, will find it entertaining. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like, maybe any tips, maybe turn around the season, or am I doing as well as I potentially could and we just need to see out this season, make sure we continue picking up points, and yeah, we've got to look to improve in the following season though with our signings. Maybe hard if we're lacking funds though, but that's it for now. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the very next one.